Hello guys, Johnny here, doing a video on how to prepare your ball and cap revolver for better reliability and wet conditions and for storage. I know, first off, that most people's carrying modern day guns for their self protection, and that's great. And that's what I would suggest too is to carry a modern gun. But in some countries, they are bound by the law that they cannot carry a modern firearm. So this is what they have to go by. So maybe this can help some of those folks out. So what I do is after I load it, first I coat the um, capped nipples. And you want to push these caps down kind of hard so they're seated really well. And you want to coat it with the nipples facing down. That way it doesn't get up under there. And dilute your uh, primer under your inside your caps. I coat it usually with liquid bandage, but I'm out. So I use fingernail polish for this. And you want to make sure that you get behind it there really good. Right, right back in here. Really good. That's where you really want to coat it. I let that dry. I usually put about three coats on. And I let it dry. Flip it over. And what I do here is I is I go over in the bowl with a coat of liquid nail polish or liquid bandage. And um, then I just put my wax on it as normal. And sometimes I even put a coat over the wax. I didn't do it in this instance though. And we'll see how it does with a little water on it. Same guide, just reassembled. Just add a little water to the mix. Flip her over, add a little more water. Now, not all, there's no such thing as a perfectly functional gun, even modern day guns will malfunction. I'm hoping to get at least four out of five shots to work though. There's a milk jug bandit. Let's see how we do. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Got a bad grip on his wet gun. I killed him that time. <laughs> Goodbye, milk jug bandit. And you can see all five chambers fired with no problems. And the Milk Jug Bandit is now a member of the fourth dimension. <laughs> fourth dimension. This is on Johnny over and out.